This is Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. You walk into the home and this is exactly what you see. Oh my gosh. again and I am here for the Pagbasa ng Pasyon. So what that is, is it's basically the reading of the Passion, um, Filipino style. Um, the readings from the Bible, it's the entire story of the Passion um, and right now we're celebrating it with the Filipino Pastoral Ministry, um, the ministry that I like to go to, that's located in the village, um, to get my little Filipino fix, if you will. So we are in Queens right now at the Seattle Community Seminary, it used to be owned by seminarians. Um, so it's awesome, and this is what we're doing. So it's very fitting that, of course, he is here, especially at the entrance of this old seminary for the Scalabrinians. If we go over here, this is another portrait of St. Lorenzo Ruiz, who I am actually very, very fond of and who I have found to be a part of my journey here, especially in my mission here in New York. So we keep walking. This is the Virgin of the Barangay. Barangay in Tagalog actually means neighborhood or town. So this is just another statue of Mary and Jesus. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If we go over here this way, this is Oops. the Servant of God, John B. Scalabrini. Um, he is founder of Missionaries of St. Charles, and this whole home actually used to be owned by Scalabrini um, seminarians, if you will. So that's why we're here. We're doing the Pabasa Nang Pasio. And what that means is it is just the reading of the Passion of the Story of Jesus. So more specifically, it's basically the whole reading, but the way that they do it is through chanting and through singing. Typically there's music, um, like with guitars or piano, but sometimes, like tonight, there's no one playing instruments, so it's up to the people present to actually keep the tune going on their own. Um, and they start at 8 p.m. tonight. It's around like 11 o'clock right now, and this will actually last until the early morning, probably like 9 a.m. or so. So the big thing with this is there's always food, and which is what I like. So, this is Jesus de Nazareno, and this is actually very, very important to the Filipino people. Um, as you can see, it is Jesus with his cross, but in beautiful, beautiful attire. Um, and this is actually in a bigger life-size um, figurine in a place called Quiapo in the Philippines, and people will actually go and you know take their handkerchiefs or whatever and try to touch um, the actual figurine um, because it does work miracles and people pay a lot of respect and a lot of homage to Jesus with his cross. Um, so Paon Jesus Nazareno means Jesus of Nazareth, um, the Nazarene. And yeah, so he's really big and you can touch him and sometimes the hand moves and it's wonderful. So my, I know, especially for my family, um, my tata and my lolo has a lot, a lot of respect for um, Jesus of Nazarene. So we have one in our house, in my home in Orange County as well. Um, and then this is just a cross with burning candles. And then this is St. Lorenzo Ruiz with Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. And this is the Virgin of Antipolo. The Virgin of Antipolo is amazing, and my biggest memories of the Virgin of Antipolo is every time my mom and I would go to the Philippines and we would um, take a trip back 
back home to America, we would always go to Antipolo first and just pray for a good voyage and pray that our plane doesn't crash or anything. So that's how I'm aware of the version of Antipolo. So again, with the Balbasa and the Pasión, people spend the night here or we basically just hang out and pray and just share in community with good food, with good friends. Um, and then if we go downstairs, then we could kind of get a better feel of what this really looks like. Thanks. So when you walk downstairs, you're basically hearing everything. This is the Fagbasa Nang Pasyon. This is what people do until the early morning. It's the reading of the Passion, and they do not go to sleep. Well, if they do go to sleep, that's okay. So the rule is, is that there always has to be someone at least here present. So there's a lot of people here. That's because it's only 11 o'clock at night. But when it's like 3 in the morning, there might only be a couple of people because everyone else will go to bed. Including me. We'll see. Huge Filipino tradition during Lent. Specifically on Good Friday. But it's not Good Friday. <laughs> but they decided to start it early. This is where all the food and goodness is. The rule slash the best thing about the Bagbasa Pasion is that there's food always. So because it's Friday, all seafood, no meat, all food. Yes, those are fish heads. Yep, gotta love it. We are currently on page 40. This is what the book looks like. There's definitely all these pages that we need to get through. The time is currently 11.30. Ginawa nito 